welcome everyone for well, today we've gone to Walton Hall to explore it we're currently on the road trip so if you're not seeing the road trip videos make sure you go check it out um, yeah we've done uh, previous panel investigations here but today's just going to be um, an explore of this place because there's some stuff that hasn't been documented in the panel investigations like the architecture and stuff like that um, and a little bit of history so John's just opened the door to us now and since we was last here about two years ago um, they've had to increase the security measures because people have actually been breaking in and you know the wooden panel inside um, is about 300 years old and John was saying that they've come in and they've thrown paint up the walls and stuff like that which is absolutely disgusting behaviour. Um, I've not actually gone in yet so we're going to go in and start our, start our explore. So these doors right now are for, actually from a French chateau uh, that John had actually bought when uh, it was imported into the UK and he bought them from an antique shop in Wales and, and they were fitted to the building. Actually beautiful. Yeah. Oh, way. It's been all kinds. It's been a school, a hospital. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. What's the point? What is he that? Yeah, hard Anyway. That's green house. Oh, that's You're an American, do you know the history of coming out? No, you don't. Know. <laughs> George III, something on a picture there. He's a mad king, and he gave America away to the Americans, didn't he? He started the Boston Tea Party. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah, yes, yes, I have. Yes, yes, He wanted to tax the tea going to America, so he threw it in the harbour, didn't he? I remember that. He yeah. started the War of American Independence. Yeah. Yeah. George George the Third, the Mad King, they call him. Yeah. Well, she was Queen Anne. I've known the Scotch and English were fighting for hundreds of years. Yeah. So she got them all together, formed an alliance, and that's who she's the one who called it Great Britain. Right. Queen wow. Anne. Wow. More useless information. <laughs> pure history. Oh, that's pure history, yeah. I've heard the previous owners from 1704. These are all the previous owners. Used to be a school. When I, I bought it off, when it closed down, I bought it off then, the school. You know how much you paid for this and all the land in front? £15,000. Not bad, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to guess you sold it for around £2 million. <laughs> No comment. That's <laughs> George III, who was on the show, mate. He's the father of that queen, you know. Most of the ceilings in this building are either grade one or grade two. I think this was a grade one. You can see the vandals have actually come in, throwing paint, blue paint. This this wood panelling 
is around 300 years old and they've actually come in and done this it's absolutely disgusting because these paintings are actually original artifacts and they've even painted over onto the paintings it's disheartening in a way because like looking at history and they've actually come in and destroyed it Disgusting. So here, right now, these, this is actually the list of all the owners of Walton Hall. There's always been something on this land um, since the Crusades. This was actually a field hospital at one point where people came and they were basically sent off to the Crusades, pretty much to the death. <laughs> uh, what was quite interesting as well on the panel investigation when we was doing a spirit box session, um, myself and Sam was sat in the main hall and it came through saying the Crusades, which is quite obviously quite significant seeing as this place was. Um, I feel hospital before they went off to fight the battles. With my man Steve Ronan, in, check him out, check him out, links are in the description. Nice man, what do you think about this place? It's amazing, um, every time I come here, it, it gives me a sense of like, stepping back in time almost. For real, it's, it's super, super old. Yeah, definitely. What do you make of it? Unbelievable, I mean, <laughs> same thing honestly, like, what yeah. are the chances of someone like, you know, stepping into this place too. Yeah. You know, experience like really old history. Yeah, definitely. It's just a shame, obviously, you know, people have broken and done this to the actual original oil paintings and stuff. It is. It is really disheartening to see history just destroyed like that. So right now we're going into the Freemasons room and when we was on the panel investigation this is where we found it the most active and it's looking a little bit worse for worse since it was last there. It's the third floor now, but those steps remind me of Resident Evil. <laughs> Brilliant. So this room must have been a, a Freemason's room as well, because um, you've actually got the symbols on the corner there. These pillars, you know, they look absolutely stunning. That's what appears we still have some Freemason symbols going on. It's looking a bit worse for wear though. That's the roof there, is leaking. And it's a shame. When investors like obviously want to come buy the building, they can't actually do anything to it because obviously the grade it is, and they don't want to know them, so they don't. The building doesn't get the funding, and the future looks very bleak. 
And it's super rare to obviously have these buildings still around because usually what happens is they fall into disrepair or the owners buy them, set them on fire for insurance purposes just to get it demolished and then they'll build houses on it. I mean, it's disgusting. It's a shame. Our heritage is slowly, slowly slipping away, it seems. Yo, what's up? Someone's falling somewhere out there. Twice. Yeah. Someone's fallen. Chips on the floor. And then when he said, who's up there, it stopped. For real? Yeah. There was a noise coming from there, right? We sat down taking photos of, of, of Steve. And he came along here, chucked some out of there, then came here. See? Who wants to check what's up there? I don't know. I'll tell you now. Some twice look. That bit there. That in there, and then that in there, both got thrown out. Yo, there's a trap door there as well, you know what will leave underneath. No, no. Man. Shit. Told you. That's not rain. What if it just... What could it be? Right. See, there's some up there. Who wants to check? There's a ladder right there. You can take a look. Carl's a paranormal guy. Yeah, come on. Paranormal guys always do this shit. Come on, Carl, get up there. This right, what have I got myself into it? I should have stayed on the bottom floor. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Carl. What was that? No, I was, on, I was on that side that time, wasn't it? I don't know. Doesn't, does it? And if that was a consistent thing, there'd be bits all over the floor. There's only two of them. Mm. Two items I can see that on. It only happened when we came to the too. It's pretty weird. Yeah, no, it's very weird. I didn't, I didn't. Did you hear the two thuds then? Yeah. Did you hear that? I did. I literally went to step one pace forward and there was two thuds just there. No, no, definitely not. Hello? Whoever it is, we're coming up, just have a look. You know, if you're homeless, we don't mind you sleeping up there as long as you don't cause damage. I mean, they could have easily escaped up here. Well, it's pretty funny how that ladder's there, isn't it? Right? Hello? Do you want to make yourself known to us? place could very well be haunted <coughs> from the 17th century, right? Yeah, well, when, we, when we've been here on investigations, there has been stuff happening and stuff. Dude, what was that? It came from behind the wall. What the hell? Dude, it was right next to my ear. What's going on here? Somebody doesn't want me to come upstairs. There's um, upstairs here. There's nothing. Wait, wait, no, wait. Oh. No, is that a hole in it for the roof there or is that a light? That's a light, isn't it? That was it. Yeah. I wonder if you can get in the roof in this box section here. Someone has to check upstairs. Someone has to do it. Call your friend more guys. Your job. That's why you're team. I'm just the next floor, guys. <laughs> you know, I came here just to supplement the function, not to. Can I buy? Okay. Can I buy your thoughts? Yeah. Try to film me going up. Huh? Try to film me going up. Oh, we got you on a camera. Just take the clip. Take your camera actually inside. Hey! Ah, right, shit, it's fucking, it's fucking bucket! No, it's no. fucking bucket! You fucking asshole! Fuck you! You're what the f? Oh, what the hell?
I just, do you want to give it away? I just seen the, seen the thing, I was like, you fucking asshole. asshole. Oh my god. That's crazy, though. What? That's good, though. What do you mean, these girls? I thought you wanted to climb up the ladder because I was in behind the wall here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I thought you were still down there. Who's throwing bits down? <laughs> you asshole, Bucky. <laughs> I wanted you just to climb up the stairs. <laughs> Well, Steve, what, Steve, what you got? I got don't back there, click them for a point. Was that you that made the noise? Because I was coming upstairs and it's not, just heard something. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like, oh shit, like, what's going on here? Like, Fuck you, the creep, hiding in the attic. <laughs> Yo, I would have freaked out probably if like, I fell off the ladder if I stopped. <laughs> no. Generally thought there was like someone in the act, man, like Steve. living. Yeah, well I was waiting, I thought if I had behind that wall because there's only a little gap and as someone comes up, they'll just see the shadow off my light on fucking off camera on my face. Oh my god. <laughs> so, yeah. I literally just seen the light, I was like, yo, what the f Wait, were you throwing those stuff too? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it's Bucky. Bucky I mean, got us. I didn't think you'd come back and use camera and I would. Look up what I Bucky got us. That's the, that's the person I think everything would get us. It's Bucky. I've been up here for ages. By the way, guys, Bucky's, Bucky's got blonde hair. Bucky's blonde. <laughs> Super Saiyan. It's great. It's super Saiyan blonde at the moment. Yeah, it's getting there. You're like, you actually know what? It's also alright. To be fair, it's alright. What do you think, guys? Leave a comment. What do you think of Bucky's hair? Oh, yeah. Come on, let's. <laughs> Modeling session with Bucky's hair. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I was just like, shit. I was in here, you can see for me, you can, can't you? Yeah, yeah. You just ask for, because you come over and you walk, you shine your torch up, so I was waiting for someone to come up like that. And as they come up, they were just seeing the shadow of my face off back of the camera light, and I thought, shit themselves. <laughs> So Bucky had us going then, big time. <laughs> Steve and Dan generally thought there was some paranormal activity going on. Um, yeah, you're the paranormal guy. Yeah, I might be the paranormal guy, but I don't handle weirdos living in attic spaces. <laughs> funny man, proper funny. So I'm about to go into the basement when we was on here on a parallel investigation. Um, as we came out of the basement, there was some stuff that got thrown from here into the main hall section. So if you've not actually seen that episode, make sure you go check it out. There was some pretty cool stuff um, that went down in here. This wasn't like that last time. So back in the day, this building used to have two extensions, but unfortunately, because it wasn't graded at the time, um, the, the extensions were pulled down. And luckily, this main building was graded and it was, it, it was pretty much safe from being torn down. These, these breeze blocks, they weren't there before. They were the other tunnels that landed into the extensions. Pretty crazy. So it would have had quite a big tunnel system through here. Obviously you got the cellars and shit. But when we was on here, <clears throat> in here on the investigation, a lot of stuff happened in this room. If you've seen the investigation, this is where I end up getting choked around the neck by something very strange. Not sure why, but people have actually stacked the kegs up. It's pretty stupid. I'm just waiting for Bucket to come down there and start messing with these kegs. Because he's always messing with the kegs every time I come on expose. It's pretty funny. What I might do is wait for these to come into the basement. I'm going to set the camera up, put a night vision, I'm going to hide somewhere. I'm absolutely scared of living f out of them.
Shit. <laughs> I was like, I'm <laughs> shit. This is war. <laughs> this is war, man. Shit. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, Road trip on six. Did you know? Yeah. Good one. Props, man. Props. <laughs> <laughs> right here, right here. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god. I, th good. I thought, you know what? I dropped. <laughs> I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crouch around the door so if they pop round they're not gonna see me and I'll be like, ah! <laughs> you crouch around the door? Yeah, I was literally crouching at the bottom there. I was waiting for you too, I knew you were down there, I was like, Carl has to be down there. <laughs> <laughs> see, 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 I told you. I told you right now, Bucky's on a keg hunt. We've got some extra drums, but all this is. See, you found some. What's the date on it? <laughs> date 05. 05. Get a pump date. on there, man. What's up now? Diamond proper, like, set apple sack strong, but so it's strong now. now. Been sat for that long. Hammer from one sip. <laughs> yeah. So, so we'll just soon as Buck is in there, check the kegs out. He's <laughs> always on a keg on. But yeah, no, I got I got Steve good there, man. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, I see you. I see. I see oh, you. Dude, I'm yawning. Yo, I, you did the same trick last time. I just do put the light for you. Yo, I'm gonna check this footage and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna loop that. Prank wars, man. Prank wars. You know, it's been left. These road trips are horrible. <laughs> what are you stopping that, man? You know, we don't sleep at night. We sleep with one eye open. <laughs> What, what do you think just happened then, man? I know, I know he's, he was going for the, the old, you know, tap on the shoulder. Oh, is it? One of them he was ones. Going for the old, he knows how much he freaked me out when he was in the tunnels in Manchester when Robin got me. <laughs> he was going for a Robin repeat. <laughs> so that's it, that's it from Walton Hall right now. Um, hopefully we're going to be back in the future at some point because, uh, you know, it's a magnificent building. It's just, it's just, it's just a shame to see that, you know, it's, it's slowly um, falling into disrepair and it's bickering more decrepit. But, you know, it was a great explore. I hope you guys have really enjoyed the video. Um, as always, check um, check the guys' the, um, links out. They're in the description. Steve Ronin, Dan, Exploring with Fighters, Bucky. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I would say we're on a 10-day road trip. Make sure you go check out the road trip uh, video log. Um, I'm sure you'll find it quite interesting. It's been, it's been pretty damn cool to now. So, but that's it from us. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we shall see you guys soon.